Well, hello, gamers. Welcome back. Uh, this is Rick with Game Trade Media. We're here at Gen Con 2018 in Lucas Oil Stadium having a blast. I've got Glenn from Forbidden Games here to talk to us about Railroad Rivals. But before we get to that, Glenn, tell us about your experience this, this weekend so far here at Gen Con. Has it been as crazy as I think it's been? <laughs> Amazing, yes. I mean, uh, obviously for the last 20 years it's been growing and mm -hmm. growing and growing and, and diversifying, which I love. I yeah. mean, back in the early 2000s when we were doing Gen Con in Milwaukee, yep. um, it was a little bit uh, you know, male-centric. There yeah. were very few women gaming. And right. I'm loving the fact that now the, it's abroad. It's families and women yeah. and men and everything. Right, it's, it's and so it's, cool. And, and the size is the size also is huge. And speaking of how huge it is, we've kind of shown some video or some footage because uh, we got a camera pointed out at the field here right check this out right there Ugh. the fact that we've gone from the convention center and grown into the uh, football stadium and the entire Still. football field is ridiculous right that's insane that we have that many people off out of the convention center right and they're showing up over here right and playing it's it's crazy i love the display that they did last year the um kind the of museum. retrospective over the 50 years yeah. the last 50 years so good right so good Just i loved it really enjoyed it uh johnny actually i <clears throat> believe walked through it and took some video of it so it was nice uh, what's the biggest thing you miss, though, about Milwaukee? Um, the bars. Which one um, in particular? Uh, you know, I, I went to school there, actually. I went to okay. Marquette. All my old bars are gone from oh. the campus. They're all gone. But the bars downtown, I mean, obviously the um, safe house, right? Safe house. That's my bar, too. You got to love it. <laughs> How do you not love the safe house? It was so good. I know. All right, so Indianapolis, get on that. We need a safe house here. <laughs> Chicago just got one. Um, Did my they hometown. Really? Yeah, they opened one downtown. I haven't been there yet, so I don't know if it measures up. But it's you know it's great to have oh, so options. Good. Get on it, Indy. We right. need it. It's doable. All right. So let's get to the game. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Railroad Rivals. So Railroad Rivals is our newest game. Um, we got advanced copies here at the show. All right. So we're demoing and doing giveaways and giving our backers early mm -hmm. pickup. But we're really excited that it'll be landing at retail at the end of August. Nice. Um, yeah, we're excited. So this is our very first game as a new company. And um, the idea of the game is pretty simple. It's uh, Railroad Tycoon, uh, a game I designed with Martin Wallace years ago, kind of brought down into a quick one hour game. Okay. And so it's tile drafting, tile laying, pickup and delivery, and stock speculation. All the great things from wow. 18xx games boil down into a really fast and playable version of a game. Okay. So the way it works is very simple. There's four phases. The first is turn order. Okay. So these are the different players. And there's uh, right after the first turn, there's a bid, an auction for mm -hmm. first place. Uh, the winner of the auction will then bounce into first place mm -hmm. and be the first player for the rest of that turn. First, nice. second, third, fourth. And the reason you want that is the second phase is a draft. You're gonna, if there were four of us playing, there would be four city tiles okay. and four stock tiles. And the city tiles, it's almost like dominoes in the sense that when you acquire one, the next phase is gonna be laying the stock and you would just lay it there to connect New York yeah. to Chicago on the NYC. Uh, so you're connecting the NYC. Correct. Not the threes in the corner. The threes in the corner are the size of the city. And I'll okay. tell you why that's important in a second. So basically now I'm the red player. Red shirt, red player. I now own that railroad that links Chicago and New York. So that's the railroad building part. Real okay. simple, yeah. kind of boiled down and abstracted, but really uh, works. Okay. And I did all the research to make sure that all the right railroads were coming out of all the right cities. I knew okay. railroad fans wouldn't have it any other way. Hmm. So if you connect Chicago to New York, it does, in 1890, it was connected by the NYC. Nice. So, And then when you drop a new city, you put randomly draw cubes, and you place them on the city. So those are available for delivery. And that's the last phase of the game. You will deliver a cube somewhere on the network. So I guess I can put out a few more just to kind of show how this might end up looking. So you'll get the CBQ, the Chicago, Burlington, and Northern. You'll get the, the Pennsylvania. Uh, and you'll get, uh, let's do the Chesapeake in Ohio right there. And okay. so all these would be eventually connected, and you'd put the locomotives out over the turns, and they would all get cubes. Okay. So now you've got the delivery phase, and so you would say, okay, I'm delivering a yellow cube, wheat, and I'll deliver that on this locomotive, on my locomotive, and the stock for the NYC would then go up in value, and I would get points. Okay. S and then throughout the game, uh, obviously, as more deliveries are made, stock values will go up and up, mm -hmm. 
And at the end of the game, you'll have your stock portfolio because, again, you'll be drafting those stocks every right. turn. Okay. And you're trying to draft the stocks that work well with your deliveries. Okay. Right? And so you end up, if, if possible, right? Mm -hmm. You might Absolutely. not always get what you want. Sure. Because if you're down in turn order, you might right. get the dregs. Right. And you'll get this stock portfolio, and you'll get points based on the points okay. times the number of shares that you have. Nice. So as you laid, as an example, if someone laid this one down here, which is... Uh, Indianapolis, there you go. connecting to New York. New York, and it's via the CNO. Right. I see that the NYC and the, uh, and the uh, Union, Pacific. Union Pacific here are married up, so that you could not call that a connection, Connect. obviously. And the reason, the re so you just don't put a locomotive down. Correct. Okay. And that means Great. that you can't deliver between those two. Oh, uh, painful. But. So it's a long, <laughs> it's a different. A different route, right. Yeah. So, so really, but sometimes you'll be able to. If you can put two connections, you would say, let's say this was a UP. Mm -hmm. You'd just say, okay, I got the CNO connection and I got the UP connection. And then I reach in the bag, put my cube down. Now I could deliver it either way. Right. Okay. So I'm, I'm just sitting there thinking of like strategically as the game grows, I'm going to want to put a, if I needed to be pushing something here, PR to whatever that connects the ATS, AT and F to this. Uh -huh. To then bring that. Food Actually, we don't do routes. Oh. Uh, that was my original design. I okay. thought, oh, it's going to be just because like railroad I'm, I'm tycoon. thinking routes. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't work. It falls apart because of the of the tile lane okay. aspect. So really, the way we think about it is, you're delivering the the goods to the CNO, and it disperses them through the system. Oh, right. So okay. you're making the initial connection, right. putting that on that railroad. It's Clicking. Right. It's clicking. I did, okay. I did initially think the same All when right. I was designing the game, but it just doesn't really work with this format. Sure. Okay. Right. Now, as far as like the wind condition or the what, what stops the play? Good question. To get us to our... So uh, there's, a, there's a 37 cities okay. and 48 um, stock tiles. Okay. So every turn you're putting out more and more. As soon as all the cities are laid out and you've got your big network laid, as soon as the last city is laid, that, that's the last turn. That's awesome. It's, it's, so, it's, that's a, so that's going to look really it's, fully... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, oh, that's and cool. We actually have a wood tile set that we did as a premium, so it's it's pretty cool, and we've got it here at the right. show. Um, so you've got really nice thick cardboard. Yeah, this these is three are nice. millimeter, really substantial. Close up, real quick of, so you know you got Washington here, our nation's capital. As you can see, how it looks right there, it looks amazing. The artwork is great. The artwork of the characters are really good as well. Actually, we have a Disney artist who did these. What? We have a Disney artist that's working on two of our games, this one and another one, our next pirate game. Okay. And he did all the characters for this. Another thing that's pretty cool is if you're, as a player, you have a choice between a, a male version and a female version of that character. And it it's probably on every card. It yeah, is. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, we actually almost missed that because historically, all these roles were filled by men back right. in the 1800s. And as guys, we're gamers, and we're like, oh, let's be historically accurate. Right. And at the Gamma Trade Show, mm -hmm. um, a distributor, uh, a woman who worked at a distributor, was we were showing the game, and we're like, yeah, these games are aimed at a broad audience, not just core gamers. And she's like, well, how come there are no female characters? Right. And I like, was like, sure. how did I miss that? I got on the phone immediately to our artist, right. and I said, can you please knock out women for every one of these roles? Mm -hmm. And thank God, great feedback from the, that's you know, amazing. From the hobby channel. Of course, that's, a, that's great. Yeah. So cool. So this game, you said, is going to be available at the end of the month? At the end of the month, end of August, early September. Right. It's actually being finished right now at the factory. Then right. we'll put it on a boat, and it'll be here in a month. That's crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. And what is the price point on this? Forty nine ninety nine MSRP. And again, we're with all the tiles that you said there in here, 48 and 48? It's, 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 yeah, it's all like 80-some tiles. Shh. And, this, and uh, the wood version is seventy nine ninety nine. Okay. But it's all wood, and it's 5 millimeter thick. That's crazy. Co full color. I love it. It's gorgeous. And it's... Uh, I like games when I pick it up and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is gonna do some stuff. We're gonna we're gonna have to play this. Is you know, I I like half half in my game. It's yeah, it's there's great. great value here, and yeah. the response we've gotten at the show has been terrific. Good. We're doing a lot of demos, and we actually have uh, not enough spots. We have. I think like 60 spots every couple hours, right. and we've got like 30, 40 people online waiting to get in. So that is uh, we're getting not a, a bad, really big that, response. That's not to the bad show. to have. Yeah. Bad, yeah, I love it. So thank you so much, Glenn, for coming up and showing us this. Uh, where can our viewers go to find out more about Forbidden Games? So forbiddengames.net. What? We make it easy. That does. That <laughs> is. That is doing it easy right there. And I'm sure you have social media like. Facebook. And we do. And Facebook, uh, the same Forbidden Games. We've mm -hmm. got uh, really every social media okay. and just type in Forbidden Games. Right. And so go check them out so you don't miss out on anything coming out from the library that is probably going to go really fast. It is. Every quarter we'll have a new game. 
There you have it, everybody. So on that note, I've been having a great time here at Gen Con 2018. I'm Rick, but I'm going to see you at the game store. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for watching Game Trade Media. Make sure to leave us a like and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content.